Well, we came to the conclusion that New York was sinking the last year, actually. My colleagues, Matt Wei and Pei Chin Wu and I, uh, looked at 99 urban agglomerations around the globe, coastal, which are cities and combinations of cities close to each other. And we found that almost all of them, part of the shore is sinking faster than sea levels rising. So in the meantime, uh, Tom Parsons, this scientist at the U.S. Geological Survey, was busy calculating the weight of San Francisco and the weight of New York City and calculating how fast uh, or how, how much sinking of the ground would be due to that weight. Mm -hmm. And when he saw our study, he reached out to us and said, can you tell me uh, how fast New York is sinking and how much that varies from place to place? Ah, interesting. So it's two things, as, as, as I mentioned, or probably more than two things. The, the sea levels coming up, the buildings being heavy going down. I mean, it, is it inevitable that that will carry on happening? It's pretty inevitable that that will carry on happening. The, every time a building is built, it, it causes the ground to sink a little bit. And engineers know this and plan for it, builders plan for it. So if they do their job right, they calculate how much sinking is going to occur, and it's over in a year or two. So, so the sinking of the ground to the weight of the buildings is a real issue. But in New York, there's other things at play as well. The, the ground is relaxing to, um, as essentially Canada is actually rising and New York and New England are falling as, as the ground relaxes back closer to a sphere now that the big ice sheets of the last glacial interval are gone. So that's a sort of a regional cause of sinking. And then on top of that, most cities are sinking because people have dumped fill on the ground and built on it and the fill is settling and because they're pumping water out of the ground. Right, so the, and when the, you do that, yeah, you ground water is a big that's holding issue. up the ground effectively. Yeah, it, t talk us through how the, the use of uh, groundwater makes a big difference. The, the use of groundwater makes a huge difference. And so actually, actually the fastest sinking cities in the world are mostly in East Asia and Southeast Asia. And, and some of them, uh, part of their shore is sinking up to several millimeters a year. Gosh. It appears to us based on our, our analysis of satellite data that say Tianjin, part of Tianjin is sinking five or six centimeters a year. Other people have already shown that parts of Jakarta are sinking eight or more centimeters a year. Samarang, Man Manila, they're both sinking centimeters a year. But cities like New York, cities like Melbourne, um, cities all over the world are sinking several millimeters a year. So the fastest part, uh, sinking parts of New York are actually sinking four or so millimeters a year. And sea level is only rising three and a half millimeters right now. So the city is going to be flooded in half the time they think in places. Wow. When should we be worried? I mean, is this, uh, is, is it going to change? Is there anything that authorities will do? Or is it um, something that we're looking at in 50, 100, 200 years when flooding happens? That's a great question. And, you know, my short answer is that, that we shouldn't be worried, but we should be planning. Mm. So if, if cities are, if, if parts of cities are sinking now, you know, and they're sinking a few millimeters a year. There's no real danger of permanent flooding usually for quite a while, for many decades or even in some cases a century or more. Um, if they're sinking centimeters a year, like parts of Tianjin and much of Jakarta, they need to start planning now. And as, as you've probably seen photos, parts of coastal Jakarta are already permanently underwater. Yeah. Um, but most parts of the world where there's uh, damage due to or the potential for damage due to the sinking shore and the rising seas there's also damage due to storms due to due to typhoons due to hurricanes due to northeasters big storms basically pushing the water in and storm surges and flooding the ground and i think to a first approximation of cities prepared more thoughtfully for the storm surges that are going to occur in the next few years or few decades they'll be prepared in advance for the permanent change in sea level Really interesting to talk to you, um, Steve. Thanks very much uh, for sharing this report with us and giving us your perspective. Steve Dont there on Rhode Island. Thank you. Thank you very much.